Um, so I came to Vena because um, we have been here for a while. Um, my sister started coming here, and you know it's nice to help out students. Plus, you know it's a cheaper option, and you get the same quality. Um, and yesterday I came in, and um, very simple, you know, wash and press. And you know I specify like on the phone that I have textured hair, and so I came in. And, um, like, the girl who was doing my hair, she didn't really know how to do, you know, textured African-American hair. And so I came in around, like, 6, and I ended up staying until closing because it was just, like, three people just working on my hair at the bowl, you know, just detangling it. And so they told me to come back today. Um, and, you know, it's just kind of like, it's not the first time that's happened where I'm like seeing the bowl with multiple people on my hair, um, trying to detangle it. And, you know, I just kind of like sat there and I was like fine at first until it just started like, just like started crying, you know, because I was just, just like kind of embarrassing, you know? Like, I don't even know why, it just feels like you're like being singled out, kind of, I just... You know, it's just, I feel like more people need to be educated on, not even just black hair, but you know, black culture in general, and like how important our hair is for black women. And like, like, the reason why I get my hair straightened so much is just because, like, I can't stand on the side of it when it's, like, in its natural state. Like, I remember the first time so when I was little, like, I only started going natural a few years ago. And I remember, like, being in the hair salon, like, I was in elementary school, and I remember the hairdresser walked away, and I thought she was done, and I looked at my hair, and it was still wet and curly, and I just, like, started crying because I was like, I don't want my hair to be like this. So, sorry. You're really welcome. Yeah. It's a struggle, you know, trying to accept your hair.